day off with five points of scoops and palmetto cheese sauce. Many of you asked, and that cheese sauce tastes a lot like the inside of a pimento cheese sandwich. Very delicious. So I am, it's in the middle of the morning. It's about almost 11 o'clock. I'm having one of those days where I'm just super, super hungry. So I have been playing around and finding really low point options for these kind of days because I know I can get a little schizophrenic with my appetite. Some days I'm super, super hungry. Some days I am just feel like I'm constantly ravenous. This is one of those ravenous days. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a little wrap with my favorite find recently, which is the Olay Wellness high fiber wraps, which end up being one point. And then what I'm putting on it here is some lump crab meat, the real stuff, not the imitation crab. I get that sometimes, but this stuff is amazing. Up to three ounces is zero points. Woot, woot. So I am going to make a little wrap here with the lump crab. I only have about two ounces on here. That's more than enough. Um, then I'm going to use my organic, organic shredded green and red cabbage that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to layer some of that on there. And then I'm going to top it with, one moment please hold. I thought I had pulled it out. Let's go to my fridge here. <laughs> um, where is it? Okay, here it is right here. I'm going to top it with this sweet onion and bacon vinaigrette, which ooh, is delicious. Um, I'm trying to think. I thought I wrote it on the. I thought I wrote it on the label. I guess I didn't. But I believe two tablespoons of this is three points, and I very rarely use two tablespoons on a sandwich that's a little bit wet. So I think I only use one tablespoon on there. If that, and so it's like one point and maybe two. Um, I'll let you know when I come back to share more food with you. But all in all, that would make this sandwich one point for the bread, the wrap, nothing for the crab meat, nothing for the cabbage, and um, maybe one or two points. So I think this will end up being a three point wrap and it is so filling and so delicious. So I'll show you the end product in just a minute. Just before lunch, I had an Oikos Greek vanilla for three points with some granola for three points and some blueberries. So a six point snack. Hey, hey, you guys, how you doing? Happy Tuesday. Um, I just wanted to jump on and say hi. It has been a nutso, nutso kind of start to the week. I've got like a ton of stuff going on and my taping for food and things like that has been very inconsistent. So I just wanted to pop in, show my face and say hi. Um, I didn't even do a full weekend review, even though I have a lot of really great stuff that we did. So I might throw in some video clips of what we did, um, but I did want to recap a little bit. So for um, Saturday, um, was a pretty normal day, normal eating. Um, I think I stayed within my points for the most part. I might have gone two or three over into my weeklies, but you know, my typical weekend eating a little bit different than during the week with my measured out and planned out stuff. So I'm trying to think of where we ate. Nothing exciting, honestly. <laughs> but we did go down to a regatta festival, of course, with all of our open waterways and things like that. Here in Florida, um, we have boat festivals and things like that. So um, we kind of missed all the boats, but we got there just in time for, what did we see? A few of the bands, and then um, we got the fireworks show just as it got dark, and that was beautiful. Hey,
fun day. We had a photo shoot. Beautiful, expectant mom. Um, gorgeous by the water. It was freezing, though. Freezing by the water here in Tampa on Sunday. you know that um, it was Super Bowl so <laughs> I had such great plans I really did um, I was going to take big chicken wings to a party that we were going to go to but nothing kind of worked out the way we expected it everything kind of ran a little bit behind and so I didn't bake the chicken wings. We ended up at Buffalo Wild Wings, just he and I, my fiance and I, and um, we had a fantastic time. But can I just say, I had on Sunday a 73 point day. Yeah. So that is by far my highest points day ever. And I think I calculated correctly. I'm not sure. I might have missed something because I had pickle chips. And I ate, earlier that day, we had shooters from Steak and Shake, which I really like those. They're good. But we just had a lot of fast foody kind of things um, and, out, you know, just high, high point things. And I have been... A snack monster since um, probably Friday I know the reasons why but I have just you know me this is my journey I go several days um, without having hunger and then I am ravenous so it's just my thing that I do but for some reason in the past few days, I've just been ravenous. So I have been trying to find low point snacks to enjoy. Um, I will show you a few more of those. I expect to be able to be back on track with filming and, and um, diary, diary. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there's so much going on right now. I can't even think straight. Um, but journaling my food by video with you just to stay on track but um, I thought for the first time this week that I would go into the negatives with points which I've never done before um, and it is what it is so what I've decided to do because I had such a blowout weekend was I decided to take back some of those points each day whether that's wrong or that's right that's what I'm gonna do um, I think that's what naturally thin people do um, is when they've kind of blown it out or had extra, then, you know, they lay off food for a little bit um, the next few days. And I believe that that's how they stay, you know, at a good healthy weight. So um, I've just been taking a few points away from each day and I feel good about that. I mean, I think I'm so full. <laughs> so right now that's my plan um, to kind of course correct a little bit, but I had a fantastic time. The Super Bowl was amazing. I personally had a letdown because I was going for the Falcons, um, but wow, what a um, comeback for the Patriots. That was amazing. So anyway, um, I just wanted to, like I said, check in with you guys, let you know what's going on with me, um, the good, bad, and the ugly. So that's my good, bad, and the ugly. Here's um, I don't have any more food to show you for today, but I'll be back again tomorrow with um, some more what I ate. All right, I hope you guys are doing good. I apologize uh, for not being as um, conversational on you guys' videos. I'm studying for a huge test tonight, and um, we've got a lot of stuff going on for this weekend as well. So this week is a little super busy. So please forgive me if I'm a little bit MIA. I'm thinking about you guys, and as soon as I can, I will be back present on your videos and checking you guys out. Um, but please know that it's not my heart. I'm not um, trying to neglect anybody, okay? All right, so bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.